you know, we're living in dangerous times these days for a lot of reasons, but I'm going to address one specifically, and it has to do with haters. You say, well, what is a hater? You know, everybody needs to be affirmed. Everybody wants to be. We're created that way. But haters have to, it has to do with so many of us. And we have to fight this within all of us, okay? So many of us, if not all of us, want to build an edifice for ourselves, or indeed a statue or something, that everybody got to bow down and worship, even if it's only for 15 minutes. Our appetite for being affirmed and adored and even worshipped has grown beyond, and part of this is technology, has grown beyond, grown beyond what is spiritually healthy. So what we find is we find hating at an art form now has become an art form to a place where, quite frankly, it's never been. So that means I could get on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, social media, and say mothers are good for the family. And there would be someone, more than someone, there would be haters Multiple people out there would say, who does he think he is? Who, what gives him the audacity to say such a ridiculous thing? You know, it strikes me we have to find the truth within ourselves. And then we have to find the courage to stand by that truth no matter what. We have to have our back straight as we stand and walk through this thing called life. So that when the haters jump on your back, they can't stay on. They got to fall off. Otherwise, if you bend your back, you'll fall for anything. And the haters will get the best of you. I'm not just talking about the external haters that are out there. I'm talking about the haters within yourself as well. Learn how to love yourself. Because if love is not in the equation, then you're a hater too. Love y'all.